All right, you guys, welcome back. Let's go over an incomplete right bundle branch block. So we know right bundle branch blocks are um, when the when the right bundle branch is blocked, we usually get a QRS that is greater than 120 milliseconds because it takes a lot longer with that completely blocked right bundle branch to conduct um, signal through the ventricles. But in an incomplete right bundle branch block, what we're going to see is we're not going to get a complete blockage of that bundle branch. So our QRS is going to stay narrow. It's going to be less than 120 milliseconds. But in this case, the right bundle branch is going to be somewhat damaged. So we're still going to have the right bundle branch block morphology. And you'll see what I mean by that. If you're not great at right bundle branch blocks, or if you don't quite understand the mechanism, this probably isn't the video to start with. Go ahead and go a few videos back to my right bundle branch block. Uh, video where I deep dive into exactly how that works. So let's take a look at this EKG. We're going to look just at the QRS. As we see, we have a narrow QRS. My QRS here, it's still about 100 milliseconds wide, which is narrow, but it doesn't look right. You look at V1, and you see we've got this RSR prime. This R S R prime in V1. So we have an R S R prime in V1. And then, and you know that R primes in V1 means we have late positive forces towards V1, which means late positive forces towards the right ventricle, which would be common in, in, in what you would see in a right bundle branch block. But we know the right bundle branch is not completely blocked because the QRS is not wide, it's just partially blocked or incompletely blocked. If you look in the lateral leads, V5, V6, lead one, you can see we have somewhat of a little, little bit of a slurry S wave. It's very subtle. That little S wave, it's not as sharp, especially in lead one here, you can see it well. It's not a sharp, slurred S wave. It's not as sharp as typical QRS deflections, which usually are very sharp deflections. This is a little slurry. In a similar, similar fashion, it's just showing a little bit of evidence of, of late forces going away from the lateral leads because that's a negative deflection. And remember, that is something that we see um, when, you, when you have some type of right bundle branch block morphology. So incomplete right bundle branch block, the main difference between that and a complete right bundle branch block is it'll be a narrow QRS, but it'll still have the similar uh, morphology. So it has it completely blocked to the point where it prolongs the QRS because that's when we say threshold has been met for a, a, a complete block. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Thanks.